talking of which, we talk about the US election. 50 days away from the day of voting, it's on the 3rd of November, America will choose its next president. Will it be Joe Biden? Will it be Donald Trump who gets a second term? If you go by the recent controversies and the developments, all bets are off. The race to the White House is going down the wire. Let me start by discussing the challenger, Joe Biden. He's been leading the opinion polls ever since we can recall. He still continues to hold a clear advantage over Donald Trump in key states. But Joe Biden's election rallies and his erroneous statements make us wonder how. The gaff-prone Mr. Biden has been struggling to make a point at rallies. The first presidential debate is just 16 days away, but Biden is still garbling his words and fluffing his lines. Something like this happened at a recent election rally. Biden lost his notes, and then he lost his train of thought. What followed was 17 seconds of sheer embarrassment. You must watch this. Thank you all. I carry with me, I don't have it, I gave, gave it to my staff, but I carry with me in my pocket a, do I have that around anyone? Where's my staff? I gave it away anyway. I carry a schedule in my pocket. I'm sure you do, Mr. Biden. Only if you could remember which pocket. Anyway, the point I'm making is this. The Democrats must be worried, if they aren't already. The Biden gaffe machine could undermine their entire campaign, no matter how much money Michael Bloomberg showers on their party. That's right, the media executive and former mayor of New York City has vowed to use his large personal fortune to help Biden beat Donald Trump. On Sunday, he committed a grand sum of $100 million to Biden's presidential bid in Florida, a pivotal battleground state in this election. This investment could be a potential game changer, at least for Florida, a swing state with expensive media markets. And it comes at a time when Trump, his campaign at least, is running out of cash. And speaking of the Trump campaign, it may not have enough money, but it surely has enough awards. And Donald Trump does not leave any opportunity to brag about them. Last week, he went to town bragging about how he had been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. This week, Trump is boasting about getting the quote-unquote Bay of Pigs Award, an award apparently conferred upon him by Cuban Americans. Allow me to quote from one of his tweets. Sleepy Joe Biden has spent 47 years in politics being terrible to Hispanics. Now he's relying on Castro lover Bernie Sanders to help him out. That won't work. Remember, Miami Cubans gave me the highly honored Bay of Pigs Award for all I have done for our great Cuban population, unquote. It did not stop there. Trump repeated the claim at a recent press conference. Listen to this. I'm truly honored to be here today with Latinos for Trump. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And as you probably saw on some of the shows this morning, uh, they're very disturbed by the poll numbers because we're very high and leading with Latinos. And that's a really tremendous thing. I'm very honored by it. We're here to discuss my administration's unwavering devotion to our nation's incredible Latino and Hispanic American communities. And as you know, uh, a little while ago, I received the Bay of Pigs Award from the Cuban Americans in Miami. And that's a big honor, and they don't give it out easily. They don't give it out easily, says Donald Trump. How would they when the award does not exist? You heard that right. The Bay of Pigs Award does not exist. Donald Trump has been caught peddling a hilarious lie. The internet is rolling with laughter. So for perspective, we decided to do some research. This highly honored award is just an endorsement that Trump got in 2016 from the Bay of Pigs Veteran Association. But Trump, as you know, has a long history of turning all endorsements into awards. And dare you challenge him. 